And you can see from the heading of the uh, of the the presentation, it is prepared by Sharha Ibrahim, Layla and Afa. We put Sharha as the first name because she has inspired us to do although she's not here, but she's inspired us to, to do such kind of presentation. Um, here you can see from this photo uh, how the lady she is just getting her inspiration. Uh, the inspiration is not coming only from uh, one thing. It can come from different things. Experience of your life and those of your friends, relatives, even strangers are great sources of inspiration. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, we mentioned about friendship and I told you that my friend and Shara's uh, friend Shara is one of our uh, source of inspiration. Uh, stranger also can be part of your inspiration and source of inspiration. Uh, we, whenever you just uh, sit with the next to someone else and you try to uh, try and to um, uh, remove your shyness from the other party uh, and give a time or a chance for the, the one next to you uh, and talk to them uh, from there you will be able to learn a lot of these people uh, a lot of stories uh, a lot of uh, cultural things which you will never uh, have the chance to see it unless you break the ice and start to talk to the people. <laughs> so uh, inspiration of, uh, the source of inspiration is not only, uh, you will not get it uh, like by going to it. It could, it could come to you also. Whenever you are sitting uh, in any place or you can see anything or you can uh, have any event, you practice any event, this are, the, you can get the source of inspiration easily. So here we say it is in every little thing around us, it is in every event, and in any person or emotion you will see the source of inspiration. Uh, it will start whenever it, uh, that thing or that event or that person it touches your uh, soul or your heart or your brain, then you will find yourself um, as you, are, you have gotten the source of inspiration. Uh, from here, I just want to see, uh, I want maybe uh, Borak to tell me, whenever he carry the guitar, how he feels? You hear me? Okay, for me, just like in the book of Eric Brown, he is a writer, in his book, Zuhabal, Oda Zuzai, it means to have or to be. For me, my guitar, which is like $1,000, I, I work hard to have it. For me, it's just a tool for me. What I know what defines me. To have that guitar doesn't define me. To be what I am, thanks to that guitar, defines me. So it feels great because I'm with my guitar, which will, which will help me what I want to be in the in future. It feels great. Talking about this, uh, his source of inspiration. Can uh, anybody, uh, anybody else also can share with us what are the source of their inspiration? I can tell you my mother. <laughs> I, I believe that my mother has been, my father also, but my mother, uh, frankly, has been a source of inspiration. I don't think, uh, yeah, you, uh, fasting today, which is, uh, of course, you all also were my source of inspiration. But frankly, uh, and this is what we define, and inspiration is not motivation. Inspiration is something that you, uh, you feel that once you talk to, or you, you touch, or you, uh, you feel that you get, you're getting uh, uh, your uh, life journey, is, uh, is, it goes along with it. My mother has been a source of inspiration. Anyone else you want to share this uh, source of inspiration? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, 
2009, uh, we migrate from uh, Bahrain to Australia. Me and my wife, my wife is Australian, and I am Bahraini. So when my son, he was uh, 11 years old, he was in love with the theater and acting and singing. So when we left Bahrain and we stayed in Australia almost, let us say, the first two years. Uh, he was in the year eight and nine. And every time that he wanted to go to school, he was not enthusiastic. He's not really happy to go to school. And his mark always between, let me say, 60, 65 at school. But he's go to the toilet and he stay one half hour to two hours singing and uh, rehearsing whatever things inside his laptop. Um, his mom, uh, of course, an open-minded Australian, but what I discovered that she said, what is happening with my son? He is not having excellent certificate. He's not having good mark. And I said, don't worry, he's doing what he's love, what we can do. We cannot stop him. So two years ago, he was asking us to leave the school. And he's in uh, year nine. His mommy said, did you see what you've done to your son? I said, I didn't do anything. He did it to himself. I said, don't worry, leave him. He can create his journey. We don't want to put any pressure on him. Uh, two years ago, he is uh, had a scholarship for uh, Australian, which is in Sydney, the whole Sydney, uh, as a best singer, and he is in every theatre uh, in Sydney, or let us say in the area where we live, he's acting in. So, six theatre that he's in, he's been rewarded uh, more than seven times with the trophies and this, and he's one of the best. So, what I want to say, he's inspired me. I mean, I, I use him as an example when I do, uh, you know, give some coaching. Each individual of you have an excellent genius inside it. Look for that genius and release it. Not matter of we're going to just study and graduate from the university and you say, well, I have the best certification. That's not true. That's not the good. The good thing is of releasing what inside you and enjoy it and show it the whole global, the whole world. Thank you. Anyone else who wants to share his uh, inspiration source? Thank you. 